Bad news. What? These following SD kits. They're delayed. Oh no! Anyway, last week... <laughs> what is going on guys? MJ2005 Gundam here and today I'm going to be bringing you guys the news roundup for August of 2021. And in this month's episode... Unworthy Premium Releases. Clear kit after clear kit after clear kit. And the BBC referring to the Unicorn Gundam as a Transformer. Now before I begin, I have a guest. Some say he is one of the rock fragments found in the remains of Axis, and that because he is red, he is three times as strong, unfortunately though, three times as brittle. Let's welcome the Red Rock into this video. How are you doing the Red Rock? Well, I'm doing, I'm doing fine actually. This is my first time doing something like this, so let's get on with it, shall we? Yep, let's get on with it. And for the bad news that was introduced in the introduction, this right here. We have delays. Now, it is all in Japanese. The basic things that you know, want, that you need to know is that the Dark Mask Cleopatra and new product A for the SD World Heroes line is going to be delayed from October to November. And similarly, New product B and new product C are going to be delayed from November to December. Just in case you don't know what those are, of course, here is Cleopatra Dark Mass version, which looks pretty good, but I still don't know how she fits into the plot. And new product A, of course, we know is going to be the main antagonist, the Dark Mass Strike Freedom. Here, I don't know who this is. And new product C is this some sort of Musha type of guy. So unfortunately, all these kits are going to be delayed in favor of the episodes. Why four and a half episodes of recap before we get the plot moving? Like, I don't know why. Like, isn't it completely pointless to you? Like, I'm honestly I'm not sure too because I was surprised. Like, remember the time when the those pirate, those pirate Gundams at the time were... Apparently those kits were delayed and eh, I honestly don't know about what I can say about SDW because I haven't caught up on the plot and eh, what ha what happened what actually happened anyways um basically nothing they went around collecting horrors and they are now reconvening in Egypt so basically in the middle of uh, Tao Tao and Sasuke met up with the main group and basically Tao Tao told Asasuke his entire story which led to the four and a half episodes of recap. I hate to admit it, uh, but this is one thing that Sea Destiny does better than SD World Heroes. Like, there are two episodes granted, but they did give us a full rundown of like the previous series and from a different perspective. That is what I will commend about Sea Destiny, and they could have done that here, but no. We sat through four and a half episodes of recap before we got the ball rolling again. So, which is why these yeah. kids are delayed. It's weird. That Musha thing on the third, the third one, honestly looks like a Banshee. I am not gonna lie. I'm seeing some Banshee stuff there, like the Armed Armor VN and I think it's BS or something. It looks familiar. Now, now that you mentioned it. You see well, it? You see it? Yeah, I see it. If that is the Banshee, I am definitely gonna get that because I did make an SD Banshee before. If that's probably it, then okay. And that Strike Freedom thing, that the first one? Yeah, new product A. Yeah. It looks ridiculous. I mean, damn. And very I unwieldy. The SW concept was ridiculous. Like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous, yeah. Delays aside and spoilers aside, I am most looking forward to new product A because who knows maybe we would get a deluxe set in the in the future where the meteor unit is actually going to be added because if you don't know the opening spoils everything that we're going to see and new product A is going to be one of them with a meteor unit so what oh. the hell so hopefully so hopefully we would get that, but it looks to be very unwieldy. Cleopatra is just a basic. I hope we get a standard version of her because I don't like her being evil. Like, this color scheme is good, granted. You can steal it for the Kublai Mark II. Actually, yeah, now that I say it, it looks like the Kublai Mark II. Yeah, but, it does look like the II. Yeah, but I, I really hope that they do a standard version of this. And New Project B looks like a butterfly, so it could be the standard version, but I'm not, I'm not sure. But anyways... I don't know, it looks like a... That product B honestly it looks like some book a bouquet of flowers. <laughs> if you're yeah. gonna ask me, what is it? It's a bouquet of flowers. 
Yup. <laughs> yeah, well, anyways. It could probably. Maybe something from Egypt, I don't know. I'm not that well versed in Greek mythology. Like, not Greek. E Egyptian mythology. Anyways. Ooh. These are these are all the delays, so unfortunately for those of you guys who want the reveals, all of us do, and to pick these kits up, you gotta wait for an extra month from the supposed release date. Okay, moving on yeah. to the big news that got this video delayed. 30 minute missions, Examac, whatever the project name <sighs> is called. My god. And these next are the Xmax project. Yep, the next Examax project. This is gonna be the P Bandai release, 30 minute mission, 1144 scale auto, X triple seven core, December 2021 release for 2,513 yen. This thing right here, while it looks awesome, it doesn't deserve the P Bandai tag, in my opinion. On honestly, anything 30 minute missions doesn't deserve the P Bandai label. Like, why? They're already available out there. Like, why would you do a P Bandai one? I mean, I guess if you're a crazy collector like someone I know, they probably get this, but. Yeah, I don't get I don't get the marketing here because why would you do something like this? I mean, I guess if you don't paint, if you're that lazy to not try and pick up a spray can, I mean, I guess this is the market they're targeting. I don't know. What do you think? Well, there's somebody says that you can literally make this from the existing parts. Now I understand if they put this in the retail market. But, a, like this gigantic bundle for P Bandai, I just don't understand it. It's literally the Alto and one of the, one of the like standard customization configurations you can get out of it. Like, this is what it, can, what it, what it comes with. Armor parts, head parts, man, manip, manipulator parts, the rifles, and basically the weapon sets. So, yeah, you can literally make this water slides aside. My god, oh. why? Oh, it has water slides? It maybe it looks like water slides they didn't bother to show the sheet here but these things they couldn't be that seamless if they aren't water slides that, that let's admit it yeah you're yeah that's right last thing i i'm not saying i'm great at marketing or anything but I, to be fair i i am studying sometimes like how these companies work or something like that and honestly this would have been better as a retail kit people uh, will get this Although the contrary has been reflected in my videos, nobody watches the 30 minute mission videos, but I know that there's a 30 minute mission market out there. Yeah, because they, they, because they all evaporate on the day that they arrive in stores. And they're tossing these into P Bandai with only limited availability. They're gonna be marked up significantly when when the time comes. Of course, like the like the one commenter said, you can literally make this from the existing parts, but who knows if the existing parts are available anymore. <laughs> Okay, that's fair. That's fair to say. Oh, there's another one, right? Yep, there is another one. Thank you for segueing into this. This is the P Bandai 30 minute mission 1 to 144 scale Portanova Special Squad, which is going to be releasing also in Christmas for 2530 yen. And granted, this thing does look awesome. Like, same thing goes for the Alto. This thing does look awesome. Exactly. <laughs> looks like a Zaku one. Somebody said it looks like a Rosen Zulu. Oh yeah, that. Yeah, it it kind of does. Yeah. It kind of does. Oh yeah, it, yeah. It looks more like the Rose and Zulu. Yeah. It looks more like the Rose and Zulu with Zel Zelsam shoulders and normal whatever else and a sniper rifle. But I don't know if you can make this from existing parts. I I am not really too sure. From what I know, the mask is actually new, or that's the only thing that's new. So that that warrants warrants more of a reason to be put into P Bandai, but still not completely justifiable in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. Is, I mean, like, I, why? I we discussed for two. Retail. Yeah, it isn't retail. I don't know why. We discussed for two minutes straight of how how Thirty Minute Mission has a huge market out there. And by the way, these are not the only two. They have teased like uh two Wait, more for more? for each faction. So there's more to come. But as of now, the Alto and the Porta Nova is all that we got. This was the most disappointing reveal, honestly. Like, yeah, they... we waited for something like this. I mean, okay. But anyways, let's move on. Yeah, whatever. Let's move on. This is <laughs> another premium. It's gonna be like last month, isn't it? <laughs> like, I opened these pages without a second regard, and I, I just realized they're all gonna be exclusives. Like, there is literally nothing in the retail market worth mentioning. But anyways, this is the premium Bandai High Grade this time, the G35 Gundam. 
PR ambassador of the Japan Pavilion Expo 2022, but what the, whatever the hell that is, it's gonna be releasing in um, it's gonna be releasing in Halloween for uh, 2420 yen, very overpriced for a G35 high grade Gundam, but uh, if if you read if you really like this pattern and color scheme, um, steal it honestly, just steal it. Well, it does look like a Gundam that's wearing sports things. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't understand why this was released. I mean, it's probably something to do with the on the name, but yeah, I don't understand anything here. I don't understand I, anything. It honestly looks like Nissan has made a Gundam with cup noodles color scheme. Wait, are the parts separated on those red things or Un nah? Unfortunately not, as indicated here. It, it's it's literally the high grade revived wow. Gundam. But I think they're going to be using regular foil stickers. I don't think they're going to push the budget that high and include water slides. But then again, we do have the Auspicious Beast announced last month that have water slides. So it's kind of hard to tell. Wait, wait. So I was looking at Facebook, Twitter about talking about this. And honestly, I legitimately thought those arms and knee parts were actually separated because people were zooming in into, into it. Like... I actually thought it was separated, like, what? No, they wait a didn't. minute, wait a minute. I think they oh, are, yeah. I don't know. It would warrant more runners. Yeah. It's odd. But yeah, they did... Uh, I think they did segregate some of the colors, I don't know, but... It's in an odd place, this thing right here. They because yeah. of the en because of the engineering limitations, they couldn't make an RX seventy eight one. So why the hell would you expect these patterns to be color separated? I just don't okay, know. Fair. But please, for those of you guys who will have this kit, tell us in the comments below. Moving on, we have finally Gundam Age tenth anniversary celebrations. Of course, we do have the Gundam Age land or something like that. The Gundam Base Tokyo is pulling out, and I I find it ironic because only a few days after Zaku Ariel Ariel streamed with me. Like, we were discussing about how a Gundam Age didn't receive any, like, celebratory pieces, and yet here we are. This is gonna be a Bandai Limited item, this is the Gundam Base Limited, for, like, this is the high grade 1.44 scale Mobile Suit Gundam Age Mobile Suit Set Clear Colors, releasing in September for 6600 yen, which consists of the Gundam H1 Normal, H2 Normal, H3 Normal, and HFX all in clear colors. And you know how I feel about clear colors, I just don't see the specialty in them. But there is a market yeah, for true. that. There is definitely I mean, a market for that. Who buys clear kits anyways? And by the way, rest in peace to that MGFX there. I mean, yeah. a few years later, it's still not released, and they apparently did this instead. Which yeah. appeals to a niche market of niche markets of people buying clear kits for some reason. Yeah. I never got it. If you collect clear kits, tell me in the comments why. I mean, just why. If you compare this to the 00 10th anniversary, which they did basically jack shit of, and um, yeah, you, we have the reversible Gundam, and we have the Keratum Gundam Saga. Like, I don't mind if you actually release existing designs and don't implement them to the build series. Like, I don't mind that. Like, like I said, the only variant of the a animated Age Gundams that aren't released is the Gundam Age 1 Sordia. Like, it's animated, why the hell not? The Age 1 Sordia has a fully justified reason to be put out there, and it's the same, it just needs to switch out the limbs and skirts. Like, how hard could that be? Okay, not gonna lie, this that FX was looking pretty cool, but yeah, you scroll them back and I'm not interested anymore. Eh. So, uh, I really hope they would do more than this. Next up, we have this thing right here. The H2 SP version, which is basically if you take the H2 armor and completely haplessly, haplessly spray it in white. Now, this was released as a P Banda exclusive back in the day, but this time, we are getting it at the Gundam base, Fukuoka, and Tokyo as a as a uh, 18th of September release for 1650 yen, so basically around the same price as the original Gundam Age 2. Frankly, since they have all been reissued recently, just take a can of primer, or no, just take a can of white primer, spray all the armor pieces, and then just assemble the kit with, with the gray joints and stickers. That simple. As someone that paints, yeah, he pretty much summed it up. It would make a very good painting model, let's admit it. <laughs> that's that, oh, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's yeah, for sure. It won't be a 
<laughs> yeah, That's it will sure. be a hassle. So uh, for those of you who want a second crack at getting the Gundam Age 2 SP version, here's the day for you. Moving on, we have, uh, yeah, this is the Bandai, like the Gundam base limited item, the Destiny Gundam Heine Western Floss Custom, clear colors, again, which is going to be another 18th of September release for 2420 yen. Now, if you guys have missed out on the standard version, now, if you don't understand what the situation was for the standard version, it was in the regular market, but it was limited edition. So, this is going to be a second time you could get a crack at getting the Heine Western Floss Custom, but unfortunately, or fortunately for some, this time time in clear colors it does look cool on that those colors though but man clear again i don't understand the market for it that that pose that does look cool the orange wings the orange body looks cool but i don't understand the orange i mean the clear if you have a black light it may completely glow under uv light which is <laughs> i don't know a small bonus maybe i don't know but moving on this is gonna Probably. this is gonna be pissing you off the uh the gundam base limited Ooh. master grade 1 to 100 ball version car mechanical clear which is gonna be releasing a week before the h2 sp and the high net western plus destiny 11th of september 2021 release now let's take a look at what this thing has to offer here so a ball frame head cannon completely clear that's basically all that is <laughs> All that, all it that it is. Cool. It, does, it does. Look cool. <laughs> it does look cool, but what what mechanics could a ball offer? Like, I don't know. Yeah, to it's, be fair, it is a good machine in lore. I mean, yeah. we know it's a it's a cop it's it's a flying coffin. We know that, but still, <laughs> it would be interesting because especially if you see so much Gundam in your life, like a few years, you will probably have an appreciation for this. But if you don't care, then you don't care. Okay. I don't care about the mechanical clear, but if I ever were to see a ball twin set again in the UK, because I don't want to stack up my collection with unnecessary kits from now on, I would probably get the ball twin set. I would pro I, I yeah, would genuinely get the ball twin set. And maybe for those of you scratch builders out there, scratch build a Gundam face and make the B Gundam. Oh, fair enough. There was a resin kit of that, so yeah. It's more honestly this honestly made me more interested in clear stuff rather than the stuff we looked at previously because this kind of makes sense to me yeah mechanical so, anyway. clear does make sense you do have sort of the exterior of the kit but you can see the inner workings if you're kind of like a mechanic fan mechanical fanatic like i am as for stuff that was announced and released in August, we have the clear 1 to 144 scale arc 70 f 00 Gundam for 1650 yen the 1 to 100 scale clear RX 78 F00 for basically 4000 yen, 3960. The 1 to 48th normal RX 78 F00 Gundam for 13,970 yen. The titanium finish version of the Master Grade Gundam 3.0, which is for basically 10,000 yen, 9900. The 1 to 144 scale white base mobile suit hanger set, which includes three of them for 1,980 yen. The clear version, high grade, the origin RX 7802 Gundam for 2530 yen. And finally, the SD World Heroes clear color set, which includes Wukong, Nobunaga, and Sargent for 2310 yen. Now that we've gone through the rundown of what was announced and released in the same month, let's go through the schedule. This is the new segment, and we are only going to be mentioning anything Gundam or Gunpla or 30 minute mission related in this segment. So starting us off with um, the uncanny date, I'm not going to speak it out anymore. We are only going to be getting the real great high new Gundam in terms of Gundam stuff. And moving on to the 18th, not so uncanny anymore. We have the mechanical vehicle dog mecha version for 30 minute missions. It's and called a dog. Yeah, it's actually called a dog. Mount a sniper rifle as a head. And we do have the uh, Wukong Impulse Gundam DX set, which gives you the uh, Zhu Ba Jie silhouette and the Sha Wu Jing silhouette. Moving on to the most uninteresting date of them all, the uh, September September 25th, 2021. We get all of these, like, uh, I forgot what the series of this thing is called, but anyways. Hyokai Senki. Uh, yo, Hyokai, what? Oh, Hyokai Senki. And... And then we have a lot of 30 minute sisters items. There's this, what like, I mean, who the hell cares about XDEX standard anymore? I mean, like, who cares? Like, we have SDCS already. Like, 
Why is this being produced still? <laughs> Nothing I haven't said in the April video. Like, if you've seen the intro, that's the TLDR of how I feel about this. So let's make the Wing Zero an EX standard then. Alright. And for P Bandai arrivals in Japan, you have the Real Grade Hyper Mega Bazooka launcher for the Real Grade High New Gundam, the High Grade Messer Type F2 Commander Type and Normal Type, and the High Grade Leos, or the Leo S. So that's basically gonna wrap it up for this episode. Thank you for Red Raw for joining me on this video. His channel will be in the description below. Go check him out if you haven't. He does make some pretty good build videos and also scratch build showcases. And thank you yeah, all so much for, for having me here. It's, it's a pleasure. And thank you all so much for watching. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more Gunplay reviews, Gunplay news, and all that kind of stuff. Turn on notifications for future content alerts if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Hang loose and peace out.